Hello again, and thank you for being with me on this um, little video on how to love others. It's called Share Prayer. Share Prayer helps us enter into that second part of the mission, loving others. And we've already reached out to love God. Now we bring God to others in a very simple way. I'm going to share with you Julianne Stan's um, practical, simple formula that you can easily do. At first, you'll be a little uncomfortable because it's a new experience. But the steps for doing it are extremely simple. Um, this is something that's done in the Archdiocese of Green Bay in all of their churches. I'd love to see it just take root here at Our Lady of the Lake. So what do I mean? First, um, it's a simple way to pray with others at the moment they need the prayer instead of delaying and waiting until the end of the day and praying when they have no idea for sure that you're praying with them or for them. There's a simple PDF that is rich in information on how to step by step as well as um, quotes from Pope Francis and the early church fathers as well as scripture that help us see the deep, profound roots of this shared prayer throughout our entire Catholic history. This is nothing new. It's not Protestant. It is very, very Catholic. So here's the little um, strategy I want to leave you with. As first, um, we've all experienced someone who needs prayer. And maybe they ask us for prayer. Maybe we just see that they're struggling and we're having a conversation with a good friend. Um, and in the midst of that conversation, you ask them what's going on. You see the worry on their face. You might hear something like, you know, I'm really, really concerned about my sister and her kids. My niece and nephew last night had a horrible car accident. Um, they're in another state. I can't be there with them right now. The family's planning on gathering over the weekend, but they really need your prayers. And so at that moment, a strategy that we can implore is to say, yes, I'll definitely be praying for them tonight and later on throughout the week in my prayer time. But is it okay with you if we take a moment and pray right now? That open invitation to pray right now brings Jesus Christ into the moment. It brings the gospel into the moment and it makes God present right then and there to your friend and to you. I know this is a little uncomfortable, but um, I've never had anyone say no to prayer and I've been doing it for decades and I've never met anyone who has ever experienced that. However, if you ask your friend if you can pray at that moment and they happen to say no, that's okay. Whatever the reason for not wanting the prayer at that moment, just honor that. Say, that's fine. I'll definitely know that I'm keeping them in prayer. And go on. But if they say yes, one of the natural things for us to do with friends when they're either we're sharing uh, affection or love for them, or they're in crisis, is to oftentimes hold their hands, put our hand on their shoulder, ask their permission. Is it all right if I, if I hold your hand or if I place my hand on your shoulder? If they say no, fine. It's not something that has to be there, but it's a very comforting gesture. The next thing to do is to honor God, bring God into the moment, praise God, thank God, give him glory. Something like, Lord God, we, we thank you. We praise you, God. You are worthy to be our light. Thank you for being here with my friend Lisa and me right now. The second thing you do is thank God for Lisa and her family, the person standing right there in front of you. So you say to God, God, thank you. Thank you for my friend Lisa. Thank you for bringing her into my life. And thank you for her sister, her nieces and nephew, and the gift they are to people in this world. 
And then you make your petition. We're very familiar with petitions to God. We do it at every Mass. So at that moment, I invite you to, to speak boldly. Step out as boldly as you can. Christ says, knock, seek, and you'll find. He references people who beg the Lord for things, and they receive great gifts. So, turn to the Lord boldly. Say, Lord God, you created this family for love and joy in this world. Enter into their sorrow, God, right now. Enter into the hospital room with each of these young children and minister to them. Lord God, be with the doctors. Father in heaven, touch them. Holy Spirit, be the instrument of God in the hands of the doctors. Once you've made your petition, then thank the Lord for what he's doing and move to a closing. Thank you, Lord, for the strength you're giving this family. Thank you, Lord, for being with my friend Lisa right now. Lord, we, you can say something like uh, a glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. That's called a doxology. Another short doxology is called, you're just saying, Lord, we ask for these prayers in the name of your Son. Or to say, we ask for this in Jesus' name. His name is very powerful. Just close and say, you know, I'm asking this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the formula is simple, but stepping into doing it, I know it feels a little risky. You know, like, oh my goodness, am I really going to do this? Take time and practice it with people that you know. Your children might need prayer for something. When they come to you about some issue, something's not right at school, just listen and say, well, let's, let's talk to God. And then take these steps and practice it with your children or your, your spouse or a very good friend. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to feel weird out loud praying. We as Catholics don't pray out loud, but I encourage you to step strongly and do it. Don't worry about what you're saying, how you're saying it. If you've got the order of the prayers right, and none of that matters. God wants your heart poured out at that moment. The structure here is just simply to give you a tool. There's no right or wrong way. There's never a right or wrong way to pray to God. You can call him by whatever name. God the Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Lord God. Anything that's comfortable to you, how you imagine God in your mind, speak to him in that way. And you will be bringing God to your friend. And you will be bringing your friend to God. And I promise you, as you develop the trust to do this, your life will change. You will see God working, not only in other people, but in your own life. Can you imagine our parish, Our Lady of the Lake, as people are leaving Mass and we see a friend and we're conversing and we hear the struggle of their life and we say, you know, let's take a moment. You want to sit down in the pew? Let's pray about it right now. Or you're talking with a friend and you're in the middle of the aisle and everyone has left to say, you know, let's walk up to the front of the church. Let's kneel before the sacrament. And in something like that, you don't have to even say anything. You can just kneel with them in silence. And that is your prayer with them. Can you imagine what our parish would be like if that is the way we are interacting with each other and the strangers that come in our midst begin to see our prayer with and for each other? That is my challenge to Our Lady of the Lake and all of our parishioners. I love each and every one of you, and I want to help you and this parish grow in love for God, grow in experience with God, and share Him every step of the way 
every day of our life and see him in every moment of our own life. So the next video is on sharing your story. Make sure you download the PDF um, next to this video or wherever Kara's put it on the website and read through it, meditate on it, and then try it out for yourself. Respond to me an email, let me know your experiences, call me um, my phone 503-303-4215 or ring straight to my cell phone. Feel free to contact me. God bless. I look forward to getting to know you more and more. Amen.